Hello everyone, myself Dr. M. Sujan Kumar. My education background is pharmacy. Today's topic is ADME. What is ADME? ADME is absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion. The concept of ADME can be explained with the help of a diagrammatic representation. As we know, the major route of administration of dosage forms will be an oral route. Okay, so if you consider a tablet that is administered orally, what is the fate of the tablet after entering inside your body that we are going to see now? Okay, so it will pass through your esophagus, then it will go to stomach, thereby it will go to intestine. This is what we know. Intestine, nothing but your small intestine followed by your large intestine. Where does this absorption takes place? Absorption will take place throughout the length of GAT. When you say throughout the length of GAT, GAT is nothing but gastrointestinal tract. That means any drug in order to enter into your systemic circulation, it has to pass through your GI membrane or GI Okay, so can you define absorption now? Absorption is a process of movement of unchanged drug from site of administration to systemic circulation. Site of administration to systemic circulation. When it will enter into systemic circulation, when it passes through the barrier. Which barrier? GI barrier. In what way it will enter into your systemic circulation? Through Portal means through portal means it will enter into systemic circulation. Okay, after entering into your systemic circulation, what happens there? Your distribution phase starts. What is distribution now? Reversible transfer of drugs between blood and other tissue compartments. What do you mean by distribution? Reversible transfer of drug between blood and other compartments is called as distribution. So here, after permeating through this barrier, it will enter into systemic circulation through your portal vein. Okay? This portal vein will be leaded to your tissue compartment called as liver. Okay? It will be leading to the tissue compartment called as liver. What happens in liver? So everyone will say that liver is the organ that is responsible for metabolism. If you ask what is the role of liver, some students will say that conversion of large molecules into small molecules. Some people will say that inactive to active molecule. What exactly happens in liver is very important. What is the point at which you will get therapeutic effect out of these four processes? Whether after absorption, whether after distribution, whether after metabolism, whether after excretion. So people will be in doubt here. So in order to clear that doubt, we need to have an understanding on liver, what role it plays. Okay. So here in liver, there are four phases that will occur in liver. What is the first one you know? The drug will go as 100% into the liver and come as 100% from the liver. Okay, it will go as 100% into the liver and come as 100% from the liver. That means that your drug is 100% bioavailable. Now the question comes, what do you mean by the term bioavailability? The available drug at site of action is called as bioavailability. You know, every drug you will be giving as 100%, but how much amount of drug that is available at the site of action, that matters. So, available amount of drug at site of action is called as bioavailability. Clear? So, what is the first process that can that there is a possibility in liver? It will go as 100%, come as 100%. Drug will go as 100%, it will come as 20%. What does it mean? That means that it went to the liver as 100%, but it came as 20%. What do you mean by that? That means that there is a degradation of drug. How much here the bioavailability? What is the bioavailability here? Only 20%. 
that means the remaining 80% is getting degraded. So I hope you know the concept of first first metabolism. Okay, you cannot ensure that after entering inside your body, okay, you cannot ensure that at which place the drug will get degraded. The major degrading organ will be liver, but there is a chance that your drug may get degraded in your stomach region or your intestinal region. Here the concept comes called as first pass metabolism. Next possibility, drug will go as 0% come as 100%. What is this kind of drug? This kind of drug is nothing but called as pro-drug. I hope everyone know about pro-drug. It will go as 0% as an inactive but come as 100%. Next, drug will go as 100%, it comes as 0%. It is a very rare condition will happen with the drugs. If that, this type of condition happens, ultimately a particular patient will end up with liver cirrhosis. These are the four phases that will happen in liver. After this particular phase, your drug will again reversibly, it will go into systemic circulation and it will go and bind to the site of action. There it will produce its pharmacological action, then your next phase will come into picture called as what is the last one? Excretion. What do you mean by excretion? Irreversible movement of drug from internal environment to external environment. What do you mean by excretion? Irreversible movement of drug from internal environment to excretion. Excretion can be either it may be through feces or it may be through the Urine. The excretory organ will be your kidney. Kidney is the main excretory organ. There are other excretory organs other than kidney. Okay. This is the, these are the main basics of your ADM that you need to understand while dealing with your main content of your subject like your absorption in detail, distribution in detail, metabolism in detail and excretion. Okay. Thank you very much for watching my video. In the next class, we will meet up with some other basics. Thank you.